That's very nice, isn't it? It's lovely. It's well lit. got you with my mine. Mine in the face. The game previously known as just Sundown is now at Sundown, Shots in the Dark. And um, we saw this in Res, I think it must have been three years ago, something like that. That long ago, eh? Mm. And it was on the BAFTA, I can't remember the category, but it's a, it was a BAFTA thing for up and coming young developers yeah. or something like that. And um, so Mild Beast Games, I've actually been working on it for a few years. And it finally got released this year in 2019. Now, I've actually been fortunate to have a copy because after we talked positively about it at Res at the time, the developers gave me a, a copy all those years ago of their original um, beta. Oh! Oh, I just didn't tuck in enough there. Shut down. Yes. <laughs> yes. So it's a, it's kind of a top-down um, death match, and it's half the map is dark, and in the dark areas you can't be seen, and so it shares some of that lineage with things like uh, screen cheat and where you, you can't see other players mm -hmm. and also as I mentioned Invisigun Heroes Invisigun Heroes yeah where you can't yeah. see the opponents except when they come out into the light or when they shoot of course yeah and there's ways of feigning that you're around as well yeah as yeah wonderful Greg how you managed to throw that smoke trail and make me think that you were running down the screen absolutely that's what it's all about <sighs> this is a close game oh we're in the pool One kill away. Really? Where do you think your weapon am? Ah! Threw me off with the, the, the smoke trail. Yeah, that was exactly it. Yeah. Damn it! That's the first time I've ever been fooled by that thing. I was like, I'm sure, like, oh, he's trying to get to me with this like, crazy. So there's a bunch of weapons that you can choose. So there's like revolver, so that gives you like. Ref Medium rate of fire, medium distance, but you have like reflected bullets, SMG, short range, rapid fire. You've got an auto rifle and a shotgun and and then there's the sniper. I don't know why we're, we're, well, we're concentrating on the so sniper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wrong way. So here's the thing, right? In most games, I'm like, sniper, nah, I'm not about sniper. That's one shot, and if you miss, you're, you're vulnerable. And it's kind of the same thing here, but you said, oh, this one can shoot through walls. Yeah, I mentioned it. So I'm like, <laughs> hmm, I'll give that one a go. And I was quite amazed at how good I was with it. Go! Oh, what a shot! <laughs> Come on. Shield. Oh! Seriously? <laughs> My mistake, um, I realised, particularly in the last game, is that I kept on forgetting to change the weapon. Yeah. And when you die, you can change your weapon. Yeah. And the thing is, I had the auto rifle, I think it was, and the auto rifle only has like about you know, four shots, and then you're like, you have to reload. Yeah. And it's like, that's not enough. Yeah. When you're hunting a sniper, you really want to like get there as quickly as you can. And when you're in the region of the sniper, just like shoot, 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 Unleash. shoot. You know? yeah. just, just, just shoot. And if you've got four shots, the sniper's yeah. back in action. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, this, this Greg guy here, he's just a bit of a cool cucumber with the sniper and is able to be like, oh, I'll just line that up. Even though sometimes you definitely sounded like you were a bit kind of panicky. Um, yeah. The truth yeah. was, you often killed me, even though I was putting the panic down. Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> I believe it. Um, so you said that the um, that it was pure death match, but we did notice that there was a King of the Hill mode as well, That's didn't true. There are um, other modes which we did not have a go at because literally just playing the death match was so much fun. I tell you what, though, um, having played Invisigun Heroes, which has got like a control, control area control mode, um, I'm going to guess that plays out exactly the same. And I, I always thought that the control zone mode was one of, was one of my favourites in uh, Invisigun Heroes. So I can imagine it working really well with that sundown. Um, I think if there's one criticism I have with that sundown is that sometimes the camera feels too far back. The drain is now oh no! Yeah. No. Oh my God! Look how small we are. Sometimes it feels like it was too far back. When we got to the subway level, it's such a packed level. Yeah. I feel like you were moving little pixelated characters around. I couldn't really... Yeah. And I was often stuck. It's a dark level as well, so there's mm. not much for your eyes to latch onto, really. Where do you think you're going? Oh, no. Run away. But other than that, I think it's a really solid little game. Um, and the maps are quite varied, and they've got their own little uh, tricks. Uh, let's go for... The testing chamber. Testing chamber. What is that in the middle? I don't know. It's the testing you chamber. You do know. I don't. I haven't you seen this level know. before. <laughs> Whether there's teleporters on one map, you come out, you will wrap around basically from one yep. end to the other. <laughs> you, are, you dirty rat! You're biding your time there. No. Um, the subway ones had the yep. had the trains. Okay, all right. I'm gonna hunt you down, but now. Killing spree. <laughs> I don't believe it. Not a single kill so far. Choo choo. Choo choo. <laughs> choo choo. The mansion levels, the mansion levels have the have the lightning weight. Oh, I think there's flashes for a second, so everybody's revealed. Uh, I suppose you can say the garden levels, their particular plus is mm. the fact that they have um, a water areas which you can't pass through, but of course weapons yeah. go straight across. I'm on! <laughs> I know you're there somewhere. Oh, you can shoot over the water. For some reason I was like, I was thinking, oh God, okay. Um, we knew there's a there's a reveal button to show yourself. Yes, I was pressing Which, that a lot, and I was like, you? "Oh yeah, yeah." <laughs> I kept just <laughs> flicking it on, thinking, "Hope Joel, hope Joel didn't see that one." But there's a lot of little um, uh, things in the environment which are supposed to throw you off as well, right? Like there's every now and then like this kind of puff of green smoke or something somewhere you used to see, and I wasn't sure if that oh, was you. Yeah, no, I'm not. Or just that. like the environment just a fool because like, you're all the way over there. So what's that? Green thing over there, <laughs> you know. There's um there's pickups as well, so um there's things like uh amps weapon. I don't know what that did. No, yeah, yeah, speed boost, uh shield. shield and then there's a obviously a good one. Yeah, and then there's a couple of other weapons as well. So mm. there was giant claymore. Damn. Giant claymore. Oh my god, what does that mean? Come on. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my god. There is just I can't speak when we're playing this. No. But you know. I do want to kill you, just to be clear. Which is like a big sword. You swing, you miss, you're vulnerable, and then it's got like a kind of whirlwind one where you just do a big round sweep. Giant Claymore. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. End of that. Uh, but the one that we both like is Blazer, which is just a big laser and it fires this Beam. It is basically what I thought the glue on gun from Half Life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it gone? 
No. <laughs> yeah, you were pretty unstoppable with that for a while. Um, and I thought, oh, it's just going to run out. It's like oh, it's on a timer. Yeah, so did I. I kept thinking any minute now this thing's going to fizzle out and it's back to my normal gun. But no. I had to kill you first. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got ah. you at last! Oh my god! When I originally played it, the, the the levels were pretty much very dark, and I think maybe we could have uh, played around with the gamma a bit to make it look darker because it's a, a bit difficult sometimes. A bit like playing Thief, right? If everything is is lit, well lit, you don't get a sense of what's darkness and what isn't, apart from yes. when someone disappears or not. And so I think maybe we probably should have amped it down a bit to give a bit more atmosphere. Mm. So I understand why it's up so much yeah. because. It's like the default is it's it's you can play with it you can easily see what's yeah. going on, um, but I think maybe we could have done with just lowering the light levels. Yeah, maybe. maybe yeah. Oh, I can blow myself up. I did not know that. <laughs> I thought I'd got a shot there. I was like, no, I didn't even fire. So that's at sundown. It's it's out now, and it is a lot of fun for two to four players. Oh, I'm not reloading. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Look at it, just not doing at all well. I mean, you've got nine kills to zero. I mean, come on. I should change my weapon. I really should change my weapon. It's ten kills to zero. Oh. I'm sorry, Joel. I'm going to play with my children again. 